Hello there, Sith Holocron here from the Dongers of Rintera, and I'm going back to really visit a deck that I made about three or four weeks ago, where I had the idea of going and creating decks based around keywords actually in the game. So we have fearsome decks like the Spider Control and Scouts. And uh, I didn't invent MF Scouts, and Spider Control has been done by a few people, and Frostbite with Ice Sage and all that sort of stuff. But I did like Overwhelm decks and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, so. I have revisited my Demacia Elite deck. Now, Demacia is just cool. They put out units on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're an easy region to play, but they're hard to get anything out of, really. So, uh, about two weeks ago, I invented a Shadow Isles Demacia deck with Quinn. And Dawn Speaker, so every time one of the scouts died or one of your little units died from Shadow Isles, uh, everybody gets plus one plus one, and the Dawn Speaker is a one four card. And all of a sudden, if you can get two of them out, then everything's getting buffed up one one, and it's just horrendous. But I really like the Elite deck. It was running at about a fifty one percent win rate, and I didn't think that was good enough. So at the beginning of the week, I went back and I have changed it. So you can see the original deck if you scroll back uh, about. 20 videos you'll find the original deck but this is the one um i've played 26 games with it and i've lost six so now we're, we're sitting on a 22 6 win rate and this is now the deck so this will be quite quick because it's a it's a revamping it's like a version two of the elite deck and the elite deck had one very very simple thing if you're amazing not in because she's not an elite Garen is an elite, which is why he is our only champion. Because he's the only champion out of the five that is an elite. Had it been Lucian, it would have been Lucian in the champion spot. I would probably have put both in if any of the other four were elites, but they're not. So here we go. This is a unit and a deck that only has 10 spells but the 10 spells are phenomenally good and have completely changed from what i had before so this is a, a pretty much a brand new deck and um again the only thing we're interested in as you can see um this is the only card in the deck that doesn't have the elite keyword so elite elite you know elite elite so here we go here's the deck we start off with Cythria of Cloudfield, who ends up being Cythria the Bold. This is there's a, a little youngster with a big sword. Uh, brilliant one drop, 2-2, two, two, really good. Can't really be killed unless a, another 2-1 comes out. Um, really handy to put out. And then we've got uh, two Rangers Resolve. You give every ally tough, is invaluable about keeping Demacia alive, but it's only two. If we want this to be relatively aggro but we want it to be really kind of good at the same time and we need units to stay alive because the more that they stay alive unlike the dawn speaker stack where you want at least one unit to die this is please keep everybody alive that makes sense and the way that we're doing this is using the only card that is not an elite in this deck welcome to the battlesmith there he is, probably building another sword for Garen. But when you summon an elite, you grant it 1-1. One, one. My entire deck is elites. Minus him, 27 of my 40 cards are no longer their initial stat value. And we're running three of these. And we're running three of these because after about three or four turns of people going, what the hell, the Battlesmith gets bingoed, quite quite honestly. You know, he will be Mystic Shotted, he will be Get Excited, he will be th Turbo Beam, they'd be like, he will go pop, which is why we've three. Which is why if you get a second one, you hold it until he goes, and then whack it down. Now, if you're playing a region that can't get rid of... Of units when they're on the bench because this is a benchy he is literally in front of his presses in front of his forge and just going there you go have, have something to eat have a drink 
have a big bloody sword. So plus one power, plus one health, all damn good. And it works on every single card in this deck. And again, we're Demacia, we want to play on curve. So we have five cards we can play on one. We have one, two, three, nine cards that we can play on two. If you don't have the Battlesmith, don't worry, you will draw it. Uh, but then we've got single combat, so an ally and an enemy strike each other. Really, really good, especially on Garen to level them up. But we'll get to that in a wee seconds. And the Vanguard Defender, which is an amazing two drop. Because he comes out 2-2, two, two. that's exactly the same as Scythria, but he, he tough. So it's essentially a 2-3 to kill him. That's really good. Now you have to get excited him. Now you have to culling strike him. He's a solid unit. But remember, if you put this out on two, he then comes out as a 3-3. Three, three. No, because he's tough, get excited doesn't work. Culling strike still works. But you're making these units much more harder to kill. And then on three drop sides, we have two. We have the Green Fang Warden. Now, you're probably seeing we're not getting the biggest sized power and attack units. But this guy not only comes out with barrier, he's a scout. You fire him out, he's not going to die. Somebody might block him to take rid of the barrier. That's all good. If it's a smaller unit, it's now gone. But he's coming out if you've got the Battlesmith, it's also a 3-3. So he's taking out good units. And then you can throw out whatever else you want, as long as you don't want something to die. You would keep it back too. And then we go for the 3-3, which is a Vanguard Sergeant, which makes a 6 cost for Demacia, which is everybody for the one round getting plus 3, plus 3 from a slow spell, which is real good late game. Super good late game. And then we have Riposte, and Riposte is just fantastic for taking out those problem units, so those pesky challengers and all that sort of stuff, or if if we can get Brom out and he pulls out our vanguard defender to try and take the two and we wallop a riposte on and all of a sudden yes he'll you know it's the first time Brom does it if you can get this out and kill Brom real quick that's that's a good thing to do you know single combats are great for getting rid of little troublesome units like Timos and elusives and and elusives are going to come back in a big way when Targon comes out there are far too many great cards making things uh, oh, oh dear <laughs> oh dear um so uh, as an elusive lover um I'm already building decks around that but I digress um one of the best cards in this game it's the Silverwing Vanguard, it's Challenger, it's 2-1, and as soon as you put it down, you get another one. And because they're both elite, they're now 3 twos with Challenger, so goodbye to all your units and all that sort of stuff, and thank you very much for playing. But if you don't want to play that, then you can just play Bannermen, which is one of the very best cards in Demacia by Miles, where every other ally in the deck. So if you've got like four people out, including say the battlesmith they are all now plus one plus one and he gets a plus one from that so he's now four four the synergy of the plus one plus ones all across this deck all of a sudden make it huge and as we all know if the Massey can get going on curve they're very very difficult to stop um and then we get garen and garen is just a regeneration five five right across the stats but if he strikes twice at the start of each round, you get Rally. <laughs> and if you've got a Battlesmith, then he's a 6-6. Six, six. So that means he goes to a 7-7. Seven, seven. And then you can drop a Bannerman down and he goes 8-8. Eight, eight. Hello. And this is a Mono Demacia deck. It's so much fun. And we still haven't got to the really good bits yet. Not yet. People do not like this card. They really don't like this card because it's really hard to get rid of. A 5-5 five, five tough is for the same cost almost as good as Garen. So regardless of which ones that you get, get it. But if you have both of them, play Garen first. Especially if you've got the Battlesmith. And then next turn, play the Vanguard Cavalry. Because then he's a 6-6-2. Six, six, it's just... As you can see, the lovely little Demacia curve is just getting better and better and better. And then, our beautiful Scythria the Bolt. 
We put her in for one very good reason. Against smaller decks. Especially as Endure in the EU meta has become one of the most prevalent decks again. Most of the things on there don't have that much health. And not that much power either. Most of them are coming out at twos. For this to get another plus one plus one on attack and you get fearsome if you're playing a bog standard spider deck or you're playing elusives or you're playing uh, deep good knight you have won. This d demolishes deep. Like absolutely demolishes deep. It just can't build up with it as long as they haven't went deep. If they've went deep then something has went wrong somewhere. And the other two cards that we have put in here to make it even better is this little eight cost spell. Now, I, in my previous one, I was running on Yielding Spirits to put it on the Garen or Cythria and just make it absolutely bonkers. Uh, no, I had completely forgotten about this card altogether. And it was only when I was uh, scrolling down to see uh, if there was anything else that I could put in here when I revisited it, that's when I saw reinforcements. Now, yes, it's a slow spell. But if you've got to turn eight, we can summon two v Dauntless Vanguards, which are just these. But then every other elite ally gets plus one, plus one, keeping in with our whole synergy of the deck. This deck is running at about a 68% win rate, and that is just bonkersly good. Like, really, really, really good. So this is... My Mono Damasia Elite decks. I'm going to save the pin message code for the deck right now. And this is the end of the video. Guys, if you uh, enjoy our content, please, 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 if you watch it, even for a couple of minutes, like it. It doesn't cost you anything, it's one click. My name is Seth Holocron. I'm from the Dongers of Runeterra. Hope you enjoy this. I love playing it, it is such a fun deck. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one. Dongers out.